hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company victoria's wig before i get started on all the details guys please make sure to hit the subscribe button also turn those notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of my videos now this unit is called lily on the website it is a 13 by 4 glueless swiss hd lace front wig this one is in the length 14 inches it is 300% yes 300% in density it is very thick and full this is an average cap size now this cap it does come with two combs on the side a comb in the middle a comb in the back and your adjustable straps and this one is in a natural black color you also get the pre pucks hairline and you get that nice transparent thin Swiss lace did go ahead and wash mine off the of camera using my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner. So that is what the texture is looking like now that it has been air dried. And I'm just placing this on my head. Now this is an average cap size, which an average is a medium. I could have went for a small because it was definitely a little bit too big on my head. But you know your girl is definitely going to work that out. So that is what the hairline is looking like. Now the hairline does come pre-pucked but I did go in just a little bit and tweeze out a little extra hair just so that it could look a little bit more realistic and kind of match up to my hairline. Now I am just going to go ahead and cut that excess lace off on the side since it is coming over my ear and I want this to fit really nice and secure. the sides are matching up now I'm just going to work on cutting off this lace once again this is their HD lace so it is very light it is soft and delicate <laughs> so you want to be careful when you are cutting the lace off or even handling this lace because you don't want it to rip because of how thin it is so I'm just making sure to take my time and then just kind of go through and cut off any excess lace without leaving too much lace on but just enough to lay the wig down properly now that is what it is looking like after it is completely cut off you guys can see how well it is going to blend down I can pretty much tell from a wig when it comes to the lace, how good the lace is going to melt in without me having to put in too much elbow work. Now for today, I will be laying mine down using my bedhead hardhead spray. Now you can go glueless on your units. However, because this one was too big on my head, I am going to have to make sure to use some type of adhesive to make this lay down all the way because I don't want this wig to shift or slide back on me. I could have added in an elastic band, but I just chose to go ahead and do it this way. course on the sides I am going underneath the lace to kind of spray it down and I'm spraying a little bit more on the sides and a little bit back towards the ear area just to make sure that this lace does not move because I already know that I want to create some sideburns so I want to make sure this wig is not going to go anywhere now of course I'm taking my blow dryer to speed up the process this is a little blow dryer it's a mini blow dryer that I got from Amazon I chose to get a little mini one just because I had too many tools and I was trying to, you know, kind of declutter my life. But yeah, this one is pretty loud though. Now when it comes to me spraying the spray in the very front of the hairline, I'm going on top of the lace, but I am taking my rat tail comb, the end of it, and I'm just running that across the very front of the lace area because I want to make sure the lace is not going to roll up. Going back and forth and pressing everything in and also kind of combing through that hair area so it won't get stuck. So this is what it looks like now that it has all been melted down and I'm just going to comb through the hair. I did get some shedding just because I did cut off the lace on the side by the ear. I was also unsure of how I wanted to wear this unit. At first I was gonna go for a middle part but I decided to kind of give it a glam, kind of Hollywood curl look. So I'm just taking my wax stick and going around the hairline and then I am taking my hot comb and I am just pressing everything in. Now I get tons of questions about this hot comb guys. This came from Kendra's Boutique. I know that it is sold out most of the time but keep checking back frequently because I do know that it came back in stock a while ago. So make sure if you are wanting this hot comb just to kind of stay on top of it. Now all of the other products that I use in this video will be found down below in the description area for you guys. So I decided to go with a nice side part and I'm just putting a little wax stick at the top also. 
Keep in mind, this is 300% in density, so it is a little bit thick. It's not too thick at the top, but it does need some type of heat to kind of lay it down a little bit. So I'm just running over the top of this unit and towards the back to kind of lay everything down. So now I am just going to clip my hair out of the way and work on the sideburns. My sideburns are not going to look too thick because I still want them to come off looking natural. So I'm just going to clip them really short, not too short, but short enough. And then I will be using the Sheet is Bomb Fuse Foam and then taking my edge brush and just swooping them and then cutting off any little excess pieces if it comes off too long. And then to tie all that down so that they won't move and that they stay in place, I will be going in with my wig grip and just tying it around the hairline area. So after that is tied down, now I am just going to work on curling this hair. Now you can definitely leave it in the nice little wave pattern that it comes in after you wash it. I did not put any product in the hair. Um, so if you wanted to kind of set the waves, you could go in with some foam and just leave it like that. But like I said, I wanted some really nice big curls. I wanted to go for a glam look. Going in with the 8-in-1 Parwin Pro Curling Iron and I'm just going to take pieces of the hair and kind of wand curl it. Not really being neat with it because it's going to come off looking a little bit messy, but I'm definitely going in sections because I do want it to have the layered look. You guys know I don't really like to cut layers into the hair if I don't have to. So I will go in with my wand curl and just take pieces. That way it can come off looking layered. Now, if you want permanent layers, of course, you go in with your scissors, but this always works out for me. Of course, I'm only going to curl one side on camera and then go off of camera and curl the rest so that this video won't be super long. But that is what it is looking like so far. I did have to go in and fix a couple of pieces up. No big deal because it takes me no time to wand curl my hair. And then I'm just going to take my comb and kind of comb through those sideburns just to kind of loosen them up a little bit so that they won't look like they're stuck to my face. And then I will be going back and forth with the hot comb just to kind of press out everything. And then I am going to go in with my Ruby Kisses 3 Contour Creator Powder Palette. I am going around the hairline. And the reason I'm doing that is because it was coming off just a tad bit shiny on my end. And then there were a couple of pieces of lace that I could have cut off. But of course, I missed them. So I am going to try to conceal that so that it won't show too much. I'm just kind of going back and forth across the hairline to see exactly what I wanted to do. Not really going to give this a baby hair look because I was going for a specific look. So now I'm just going to go in with my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. This is always, always, always my favorite part when I curl hair is to go in with my serum and run my fingers through the hair and kind of pick those curls apart. I'm not going to use a comb. I'm just going to be using my fingers to make the curls look really nice and voluminous. Because this only has 13 by 4 inches of parting space, I did feel at the top where some of the cap was starting to show that is a problem when you have a short amount of parting space. So I did have to push some of that hair towards the back because that's the last thing you want is your cap to start showing. Um, so I do wish that this was, you know, the six inches of parting space, but that's fine because we can definitely still make this work. Seeing up a few areas in the front, my main focus was on the one side because I knew that that side was going to be pushed back and it was going to show a little bit more. And I still could see just a slight bit of lace because I should have cut off some more lace. But because of the bright lights, it was kind of hard for me to really see what I needed to do when you have that transparent lace. So now I'm just going in with the bedhead hardhead spray again and I did notice some shorter hairs at the top that still weren't laying down even though I had the wax stick so I'm just kind of running that through the comb and then I'm going to run the comb through the hair in certain areas and just kind of make it stay I want it to stay I want the curls to stay and then I'm going to spray that spray all over the front area so I don't have to worry about the curls coming apart and guys this is the final look of miss lily i think she looks really cute and all put together i'm happy that i decided to put the curls in it like i said i wanted a glam look and this is definitely coming off very glam
Now this unit is 14 inches once again, and it does go all the way up to 26, but I do like the 14 inches. It's a perfect everyday length. As far as the density of this unit goes, it did feel a little bit thicker, especially in the middle of the unit. So if you are wanting something that has a little bit more fullness to it, but you still want a shorter length, you might want to check out this particular one. Now, as far as the hairline, the hairline is on point, um, the lace, I never have an issue with their lace. Their lace always lays down really good. I did have to go in and bleach my knots a little bit more though because I don't feel like they were bleached completely all the way. But the knots were very small so I didn't leave the bleach on for a very long time. As far as shedding and tangling goes, I did get some minimal shedding with this unit while I was wearing it. And then tangling, I haven't really wore it out for a long amount of time. But while wearing it, I didn't have any issues with running my fingers through the hair, especially at the ends after I curl the unit. So guys, let me know if you are feeling this lily. If you are, I'll make sure to leave all the details down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on, share and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.